In 1849, the Oregon Territorial Legislature established a system of common schools based on recommendations of a system of free, tax-supported education for children. Tigard's first school was built four years later. One of the first cooperative undertakings by Butte's few existing families was the construction of a schoolhouse to educate children in the new settlement. In 1853, just a few months after the arrival of Wilson Tigard's family, a log cabin schoolhouse known as the Butte School became the first school built in school district number 23. School administration and building maintenance was performed by community residents including, among others, Wilson Tigard, William Graham, and George Richardson on whose property the Butte School was built on. Inside the school, children were said to have sat on benches made of split trees of soft cedar with legs inserted into the round part of the logs. The Log Cabin Butte School was located near the north end of present-day Main Street and in 1869 was replaced by a larger, one-room, lumber frame building. Wilson Tigard's son Charles, born in 1862, recalled the second Butte School as having a blackboard painted on the wall and outside a nearby spring provided drinking water for the class. During the winter, the schoolhouse was heated by a box stove from wood collected around the school grounds. As the population grew, a larger schoolhouse was needed. In 1896, a new two-room building called the East Butte School was built along today's Pacific Highway and was located about a mile south of the original Butte School. The Butte voting precinct boundaries had been divided by this time between East and West Butte precincts. Limited housing required school teachers to board in private homes and they are paid about $20 a month. The East Butte School was enlarged and a second story was added in the early 1900s. Former student James Bishop remembered that inside the school were four classrooms, two on the first floor for grades one through four and two on the second floor for grades five through eight. There was a stairway to the second floor just inside the double doors at the entrance of the building. The students' desks were wide enough for two or three pupils, but others were just single desks. There was an inkwell and a slot to lay pen and pencil on top of the desk. The desk's stand was made of black sculpted cast iron. The East Butte School was destroyed by fire in September 1918, and students were said to have completed the rest of the school year in small buildings built by local farmers. Construction of a new school began on the same property the following year. But the East Butte School wasn't the only school in the Tigardville area in the early 1900s. The Ben School, also known as the South Ben School, located on today's Beef Ben Road, was part of a short-lived Bend School District. Former student Glenora Spousta described that inside the schoolhouse were rows of desks, two small cupboards of library and reference books, the teacher's desk at the front, and an upright piano in the corner. In the center of the room sat a large stove surrounded by a metal jacket. Outside, another small building served as a woodshed and garage. Two outhouses sat at the back of the school lot. The schoolyard also had a set of swings that hung from a tree branch, a seesaw, and a much-to-use slide. During the 1920s, Tigard had three new schools open along Pacific Highway, St. Anthony, Tigard Elementary, and Tigard's first high school, known as Tigard Union High School. St. Anthony School first opened in 1922, 
The same year, Oregon's Compulsory Education Act was approved by voters, making public school attendance and not private or parochial schools mandatory for children beginning in 1926. The Ku Klux Klan in Oregon were shadowy authors of the initiative, believing it necessary to preserve a homogenous American culture in a country of immigrants. Many religions that operated private schools opposed the act as unconstitutional and sought to have it overturned. In 1925, the case reached the U.S. Supreme Court, who upheld the constitutionality of private schools to exist and parents' rights to oversee their children's education. St. Anthony's School had been open for eight years before a devastating fire destroyed the school in December 1930. The school was rebuilt the following year, and parts of it are still in use today. Tigard Elementary School, up the street from St. Anthony, also opened in 1922 on the same property as the burned down East Butte School. The new school becomes Tigard's largest and most modern schoolhouse. Mr. Britt Nedry is the school's first principal until his retirement in 1940. As the number of students grow, additional classrooms are added to the building over time. In 1955, 23 years after its opening, Tigard Elementary was rededicated as Charles F. Tigard School. Charles Tigard, who attended the Old Butte School in the 1870s, operated the Tigardville General Store and Post Office, served two terms in the Oregon State Assembly for Tigard, and later became president of the First Bank of Tigard. Before the opening of the Tiger Union High School in 1927, local students attended high school elsewhere, including Beaverton and Lincoln High Schools. In May 1927, a crowd of nearly 1,500 people witnessed the dedication and laying of the building's cornerstone. The ceremony included an address delivered by Charles F. Tiger. 188 students entered the school when classes began the following fall. Among the seven original faculty members is Thomas Fowler, who is named principal of the school the following year and who would hold that position for 25 years. Tigard School District 23 continued to grow when, in 1939, the Ben School District was dissolved and incorporated into District 23. The schoolhouse was eventually sold, moved across the street, and converted into a private residence, where it still exists today on Beef Ben Road. Following World War II, Tigard's first post-war school to be built is a new modern high school that opens in 1953. The school is built on 50 acres of land along Durham Road that is donated by the Sheckla family. Alfred Petila is the school's first principal. The new high school is built to accommodate up to 600 students in grades 10 to 12. By the 1980s, student enrollment at Tigard High School would surpass 1,700 students. With the new high school, the old Tigard Union High School on Main Street becomes Tigard's first middle school. Shortly after this transition, beloved principal Thomas Fowler suddenly died and the school is dedicated as Fowler Junior High School. In 1956, three years after the new high school opens, Tigard's first new elementary school since 1922 begins classes on Tigard's east side. The new elementary school is named for Phil Lewis, who played an instrumental part in getting the original Tigard Union High School built. Dar Shin is the first principal of Phil Lewis, and he later becomes principal of Tigard High School. Tigard voters authorized construction of a second junior high school in October 1959. Construction of the new school began in February 1960.
The school is named Tuolity, a Native American word that was the original name of Washington County in the 1840s. Tuolity Elementary opens with seven classrooms, two science room labs, a dual purpose cafeteria and auditorium, a teacher's lounge, and an administrative suite with a guidance center. Continued growth in Tiger necessitates the opening of another elementary school by the mid-1960s. Templeton Elementary opens in 1965 next door to Tuolity Middle School and is named for James Templeton, a beloved former principal at C.F. Tigard Elementary who died in 1960. In 1969, local voters passed a measure to unify the public schools of Durham, Metzger, and Tualatin with the Tigard Union High School District number 23. In 1990, the district changes its name to Tigard Tualatin School District 23J to reflect the opening of the new Tualatin High School. This new larger district in the 1970s brought in three elementary schools from adjoining districts. A new Fowler Middle School also opened in 1974, and the old Fowler School was torn down in 1977. Phil Lewis Elementary was also closed when Deer Creek Elementary opened in 1997. Since beginning in a one-room log cabin schoolhouse in 1853, Tiger Tualatin School District has become one of the largest districts in Oregon and currently enrolls over 12,000 students throughout nine elementary schools, three middle schools, and two high schools. In 2020, the school district hopes to break ground on a new elementary school in the River Terrace subdivision. The school is to be named after Art Rutgen, a former principal in the district and a tireless advocate for children.